what's up everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to do these beautiful nails right here so i got my inspo from v nailed it's youtube video that she just uploaded yesterday she didn't do an actual tutorial she did it like a fill and design change but this was like the set that the girl had on that she was changing and she said that she didn't do a video on it so I was like, mm, people are probably going to want it. So I'm going to try and do it and see how it comes out. Okay, so first of all, for my base, I just used Young Nails Cover Blush and Cover Flamingo. I just mixed those two colors together to make like a light, really light pink color with some sparkle in it. And after I laid the acrylic on the nail, I went ahead and top coated the nail and then buffed it out and I went in with my Young Nails Fizz gel paint that's just the white gel paint and I'm just going ahead and drawing these little French designs I guess you would call them on the nail and if I messed up I like using gel paint because it's easy to clean up your mess like you'll see after this I drew the French design on and it was a little bit crooked, a little bit weird. So I just went in with some acetone and cleaned it up. And I guess I didn't end up showing that part. But just paint it on as best as you can. And if you see any mistakes or need to clean up any mistakes, just get like a cleanup brush, dip it in some acetone and go ahead and clean it up. And once you're content with the way it looks go ahead and cure that now i'm just going in with my sharpie and there's multiple ways to do this but this is just the way that i choose to do it because this is the easiest way for me so what i'm doing is i'm using my pink color sharpie and i have a little brush there that i'm dipping in alcohol and i'm just drawing lines all over the white part of the nail with the sharpie and dipping my brush in alcohol and then just dabbing it on the nail and I just continue to do that until I feel like it looks decent. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the top part, like at the top French that I drew. So once I'm happy with the way they look, I just went and top coated it and move on to the next step, which you'll see now in a bit. But I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch it. And I'll jump back on in a little bit because I have another tip for you guys when I move on to the chrome part.
so as you can see here, I messed up and I got a little bit of top coat where it shouldn't have been. But I just went ahead and rubbed it off and it came off pretty easily. And what I did is I grabbed some acetone or alcohol and I put it on a lint-free pad and I started wiping around the area where the chrome is. I didn't wipe on top of the chrome because then it would come off. So I was trying to clean up around the area, but I went in and I did another nail. And on that nail, I went in with my dust brush and I just dust off the extra chrome and that worked a lot better. It was a lot less time consuming and a lot easier. Or another thing you can do is you can just go in with your little liner brush and just go over the chrome part with some top coat cure it and then wipe off the whole nail and that would probably get it off easier too i know i probably could have done a couple things a little bit different and made it easier on myself and watching this back i realized that now this was the first time making this nail so i kind of just went with it but hopefully it helps you guys out i'm top coating it right now i believe i did glossy and then i changed it to matte just so you guys could see how they both looked i myself prefer the glossy one on this nail let me know what you guys think down below let me know if you guys like my voiceovers or if you like me to do the text i tried both of them in this video but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you stay tuned for my next video i'm going to be comparing the red iguana hand and the silicone hand from the no you brand on amazon so please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.